This is NYPD Sergeant James Logan. His job is to supervise traffic agents, the people who have a reputation for aggressively writing parking tickets. But when it comes to parking, Sergeant Logan was doing something weird. Underneath these cones, tarp, and plastic is a yellow Cadillac. It belongs to Sergeant Logan. It was being stored seemingly unused in a secured locked NYPD lot underneath the FDR Drive at the end of 36th Street. It's a place where official police vehicles are kept, but somehow Logan was able to store his old caddy there without anyone making a fuss. That is until retired police officer Randy Burgos contacted Fox 5. The slogan is, if you see something, say something. That's how we keep the city safe. Yet there's a gigantic car covered in canvas and cones in a police parking lot, and nobody's said anything. Correct. A little weird, huh? It's beyond weird. Burgos, who used to work under Logan in a different division, took the bold move of speaking out against another cop. I couldn't say anything when I was an active cop because there would have been ramifications beyond your wildest dreams. Burgos and another retired cop who did not want to be identified contend that Logan's free parking trick irks them. Not only because Logan could easily pay for a public parking lot right across the street from the police lot under the FDR, but because they say in the last two years, all cops have been getting in big trouble for parking their personal cars around town without the proper permit in the window, even when they park to testify in court for the city. They will come down and either have their vehicle gone, or they would have received a summons from internal affairs officers. And here this guy's getting free parking. I just, I, I, I don't, I don't think it's right. Burgos and the other retired cop claim that before Sergeant Logan stored his Cadillac in this police lot under the FDR, he kept it in this police tote pound on the pier. Then it was moved to the new location where it supposedly has been for two months. Fox 5 saw it there for at least a week. And the complaining cops say they find it strange that Logan gets away with storing his caddy for free in a police lot when they claim he plays hardball with other cops. Let me just tell you that if a fraction of what he's been doing, a police officer does, he would crush that cop. Sergeant James Logan pretty much does what he wants, and uh, and that, that's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So it was time for us to ask Sergeant Logan about it. What's the yellow Cadillac doing under the uh, FDR? It's your Cadillac. Oh, that's right. It is my car. It's supposed to be there? Yes, it is. It is. You have permission to have that Cadillac there? I certainly do. Why does it have a tarp on it and all those cones on it? Well, did you notice that there's a lot of birds in there? Did you notice that? Why would you put your personal car in the police car? We have to on this, okay? The point is, Sergeant, they're saying that you bust everybody's tail a lot about little things, and then you get away with all kinds of stuff. That's their theory. Okay. Have a good night. Right after that good night, when we talked to Sergeant Logan, in fact, the very next day, Sergeant Logan's Cadillac with the cones and the tarp on top disappeared from the official police lot. The NYPD has no official comment on this matter. All we know for sure is that the Cadillac that was in this police garage magically disappeared right after we started asking questions. I'm John Dutzman, Fox 5 News.